Britannus is about the continent of Britannus and how all the story on, on that continent goes. If you're into the super epic save the universe, multiplanar storylines and that kind of thing, you're probably going to have to change your expectations. Um, Britannus isn't about the other planes. Britannus is about Britannus. That's why it's named that. So what you're going to get is a lot of fantasy storytelling about people. It's designed to be a very personal kind of smaller scale game. I think it gets down to the basis of what live action is really good at, and that's telling those interpersonal stories. Um, what you're going to get are stories about the foundation of Camelot, um, its heroes, its glory, and eventually fighting against its fall. So what you're going to get is a, a game where PC actions and decisions matter. Um, the assumption of Britannus is not going to be that you are a, a puny, low-level, kind of um, first-level adventurer when game begins. The game is actually going to be assumed that you have a certain amount of prowess in order to be involved in the events that are going on. So, um, you might not be a knight to start off with, but you may be a squire to a knight. Um, you might not be a, uh, a full mage, but you might be apprenticed to a famous mage or um, or a, an acolyte of a, of a famous temple to where you're basically, when you start the game, you are right on the cusp of kind of stepping up into the big leagues. Um, that's because a lot of the stuff that happens in the Arthurian stories happens on kind of the, the bigger level, and we want that to be able to, to happen for the players basically right off the bat. We don't want you guys to have to be scratching for how to come up with, you know, I, there's not going to be any killing rats quests or, or anything like that. Um, we want you guys to be able to influence the story from the beginning of the game and to, to kind of step up into the big leagues as you progress through through the game itself. The playtest season itself is set up to where, depending on the events of how that first playtest event go, there are three different options for how the second playtest event can go, depending on like a win, lose, or draw, depending on how things go. Um, Everything is set up uh, so that the player decisions matter. Maybe not each individual teeny tiny I spent my gold on the sword kind of decision, but the the big decisions, the, the who wins the battle, the what happens in this negotiation, the does this site get secured kind of thing, all of that stuff happens. Um, all of that stuff happens because the players have made it happen. And the choices that you make as a player are going to impact the story. So you will get to help tell the story of how Camelot is founded, how it rises to glory, the, the consolidation, and defending it against its fall. That's going to be you. You get to do that, and your choices will determine that. So let's talk a second for some stuff that uh, Britannus is not. Um, Britannus is not a combat sport. Um, the weapons on the wall behind me, the, the latex and the, the polyfoam, Weapons, um, those are going to be used heavily, and we encourage their use. If you like to fight, I would highly recommend that you look into Team Monster, um, which is going to be our uh, our dedicated NPC core. And um, if you're you're wanting to, to get into the makeup and and you know fight like a um, fight like a bad guy and, and fight like a monster, then that's definitely um, what you should be looking into. Um, yeah. Interesting thing about Team Monster and volunteering at Britannus is uh, as you volunteer for the game, you earn what's called Monster Points. And as you acquire more Monster Points at the end of the season, when we go into our winter hiatus, um, you can cash in those Monster Points for real-world kit. Um, weapons, armor, costumes, um, that kind of stuff. The more points you have, obviously, the better stuff you can get. Um, but the, the goal is to make it worth your while to come and volunteer. So if, if you're wanting to just get into live action gaming or if, uh, if you're not really sure, you know, if this is what you want to do or if you want to maybe make a change of genre um, from the combat sport or from a different game um, over into Britannus, come and take a look at Team Monster. Uh, I said early on that uh, we're focused on immersion and we want what the player sees to be what the player actually sees. So um, we're going to be doing some stuff um, coming up about uh, uh, how to cheaply and easily get some pretty good kit, costume, and, and stuff. And um, we really want to promote a, a high standard of, uh, standard of excellence for the game. So what that means for you as a player is that if all you've got is, is jeans and sneakers and a t-shirt, well, we're going to be having some tutorial videos and stuff coming up to where you can make your own stuff pretty cheap. Um, likewise, um, the cardboard armor with duct tape on it, that's not going to fly. Um, football pads that are not modified or uh, sporting gear that's not modified to look like real 
um, real armor or um, real-ish armor, um, that's not going to fly either.